Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising. Today we're going to continue on with more of Green Earth. We've done the uh, first leg of Green Earth. We've met the three COs, and now we're going to continue on with the second set of missions with all those COs. So, uh, let's go ahead and start here. Oh, looks like we're going to go back to Captain Drake. It's Drake's Peerless Navy versus Hawk's Air Force. Who will win? Well, let's find out. Lash, is the airport completed? Yep, I built to your specs, but... But what? Are you sure you want a standard airport? Let me add some options. Options? What are you talking about? You know, all kinds of stuff, like a self-destruct system. Not necessary. Tis boring. If it's ready, I'd like to use it now. The enemy is close at hand. Go ahead, be my guest. Okay, so here we have Navy versus Air. Now, normally, I would choose Air in this type of matchup because I like Air units a lot better than I like Naval units. However, because we are using Captain Drake, the Navy does have some advantages, that's for sure. The enemy's built an airport. They'll finish it shortly, sir. You didn't notice this earlier. They must have hidden it somehow. Plus, they built in such a short amount of time. Amazing speed. I see. Thanks for the intel. Good work. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. They must have realized I am only one who can sail these waters. Planes versus boats. Air units do have powerful advantages, but... I'm not sunk yet. This sea dog has got a few trick up its sleeve. Okay, so, like he said, Hawk has an air force. And he has some air units already built, so we're going to have to find a way to combat those. Thankfully, though, we do have some nice cruiser units over here, so we're going to send them forward and uh, use them to the best of our abilities. But yeah, like I was saying... In general, I would honestly prefer um, a uh, air force as opposed to a naval force, but I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with naval combat. It's just I feel like they made air combat a lot easier in Advance Wars, so it's kind of easier to get an early advantage and easily uh, wipe the floor with anything that moves whenever you use air units. So. Yeah, that's basically my opinion on that front. I just think it's a lot easier. Oh, wow! We have, uh... I didn't realize we had those plane units down there. Okay. Well, that is going to make things a little more difficult. But still manageable. It's definitely not impossible to do this. I'm going to move you guys here, and then we're going to start moving this guy up. So we can, uh, take over that. Um... I wish I could actually move right there, but that's fine. We'll deal with that. We do have to worry about those helicopter units, though. Or B-copters, rather. Um, what can I build? I might want to actually save my funds for a, a lander, or better, a sea units. Three cruisers will be able to take these uh, B-copters, no problem, but still, I'd much prefer to have something else to work with. So now we have to find a way to lure those uh, B-copters north, which I think we can do. Yeah, I can do this. This is not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, let's just drop you here, you here, and then we're going to move you guys in range of these B-copters. And then we can uh, start the fun next turn. That sounds like a good idea. Um, can all of them hit me? Or... Uh, yeah, pretty much all of them. I think one of them is still going to try to go over here, but if they do, I have a anti-air unit right there, so... It's not too much of an issue. Okay, question is, do I want to save up some Navy units, or do I want to go ahead and build another lander? 
Uh, let's go for another lander, just in case this one gets uh, rattled. Plus, I can also use this as a uh, bait to distract these bee copters too, so... Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Plus, it gives us some time to actually reach those infantry units in the north. That's mainly what I'm concerned with right now. Oh, wow. Uh, those did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Hmm. Well, then. I think I can still take care of this. Oh, I wish I could move one more space. That would be really nice. But we'll just have to make do. Okay, I think I can do that. I'm going to move you down here. Uh, I think I am going to use this one for bait. So let me just uh, see if I can distract it with... Uh... Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to distract it by putting it right here. Actually, wait. Okay, no, up there. I'm going to put you right here. That should distract it. As for my other unit... I can go ahead and start capturing this, and then I can move you north, start capturing this, and I think I'll be done before that unit has a chance to reach over here, so, alrighty, perfect, this is going pretty good so far. Let's see if my uh, lander decoy actually worked here. It did! Perfect. And what a great decoy it made, my god. <laughs> I essentially just uh, ripped apart his uh, air force by doing that. Which I like. I like very much. Um, you can't do anything, so I'm going to just switch off here. I'm going to destroy you, and then destroy you. And then maybe once again I can uh, use this to lure them away. As for my anti-air, don't really have anything to do with it right now. I can't go over here, so I'm going to use it over here to maybe stop any infantry units to try to come this direction. As for you, let's finish this up. Okay, well that's fine. Okay then, well, I'm liking this so far, this is going pretty well. Wait, did I just screw up? No, I didn't, okay. Uh, can I build anything else? I really don't need a lander, or a, cru or a cruiser, or a sub, so... Um, actually, I might want to have another lander, just in case. And then maybe load it with tanks next turn or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, he's using his, uh... CO power right here. That's gonna make things all kinds of annoying. Especially now he did that. Dang it. I think I'm gonna be fine, it's just... I wasn't expecting that kind of uh, retaliation so soon. Well, I'm not going to use my power yet. I'm going to wait until I can use it more strategically. Destroy you. Don't know if I can actually finish you off, but nope. Okay, I can't load them like that either, which is also kind of annoying. Um... I'm going to do this, just so I can have a full health unit right there. As for you, like I said, I'm going to use two tanks. Because I want to grab this airport as soon as I can. Now, Drake is not good when it comes to his air force units, or his air units. But, still, having air units is really nice for this battle. And it will definitely give you an advantage if you at least have something to work with. So you should definitely not avoid building air units just because you're Drake. They're not going to do as much damage, but they'll still be useful. 
basically that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, is there anything lethal coming my way right here? Just that. Okay, well, let's do this. We're going to put our cruiser units kind of guarding this island, so if they try to send something my direction, they're going to get blown to bits. Also, I was actually kind of happy they didn't go for this. It's going to make things really nice, because I'm not going to have to worry about transportation as much. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and move you guys in here. Because you guys are going to take a while to... I don't know, I better go ahead and do this anyway. I do want to get some more infantry units so I can at least, uh colonize this island a little better. Because getting these bases is also going to be a pretty uh, nice thing. For now, though, I like what they're doing to me. Giving me lots of good options here. I also like that they're uh, not going for these properties the way they should be. It's allowing me to uh, actually do some damage here. Okay, um, should I hold off again? I think so. I haven't really built any more air units yet, so we're going to do the same thing here. Just going to use these guys to kind of guard the area and prevent any air units from getting over here. And, yeah, we're going to end it there. We do have a tank coming forward now. That is going to be kind of annoying. But we should have our tanks on the island once we... Uh, get to that position, so. Either way, we'll be fine. Okay, I finally captured that. We'll start capturing that, and you will drop you. Okay. Hmm. Well, you're going to come back over here at some point, so I'm going to get ready for that. I'm just going to build two anti-airs. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Okay, then. Uh, can you do anything? Yes, you can. And there's no rockets around, so all right, I'll take this opportunity. It'll save me some time in the long run. And, okay. I had a feeling that was going to happen. But that's okay. That's alright. Because my tanks are now inbound. Keyword for they can do whatever they want, but it's not going to help them. Also, yeah, I can also move this guy too, so. Maybe I'll go down here to grab some other things. Hmm. I might just want to save up for my air units, honestly. I mean, that may be more beneficial in the long run. Okay, well... We 
move you back a little bit. Yeah, let's hold on to my fun some more. Also have a feeling that... Oh, he doesn't really have his, uh... Well, I haven't really been destroying any of his units either, so that's probably why. I was wondering, like, why I haven't activated his CO power again, but... I guess I haven't really been destroying too much here. Well, that'll change things a little bit with that. Captured that, captured that. And now I actually have some more units kind of coming over now. I have my tanks. Okay. Need to look out for Mr. Anti-Air. Unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and let him capture that, just to stay out of his range for right now. That may not seem like a smart move, but don't count me out just yet. I do have plans. I do have, do have some very important plans here. Okay, well... I can actually build a battleship now. But I'm gonna wait till it goes to another location first, so I'm gonna focus on something like that first. And I'm gonna save my uh, Super CO for uh... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use my normal power. Just for the sake that they won't capture that one property. That's the only reason I'm doing this. So yeah, that way I don't waste my entire power here. And then, uh... He'll also have to spend some of his money, uh... Healing his units, so he's not going to be able to buy anything. Yeah, that actually worked out pretty well. I'm glad I did that. See, that's strategy right there. That's really, really good strategy kind of strategy that wins games like these. You gotta really, really think hard when it comes to all of your moves in this game. Also, yeah, I wish I could destroy all these. Well, no matter what, let's go ahead and... I'm gonna have to destroy you. Didn't want to do it that way, but... Boom. Okay, that'll work. Okay, that's fine. I'd be lying if I said that's the way I wanted things done, but... I don't really have a choice in the matter right now. Okay, well, let's uh, heal you a little bit. And you're going to go over here and pick up these guys. And then, once again, I'm not going to buy anything, because why would I? You actually have a lot of time to uh, work with if you want to S-rank this mission. This is a mission that's supposed to take as long as it's taking us. So there shouldn't be any worries about the amount of time this has taken, basically. Um, okay, I'm going to move you back, because I have a feeling he's going to move that B-copter soon. It's just the way I want it, right there. Okay, can't do anything with you, but I can eliminate some of your forces. And the best part about this is he didn't actually capture anything either, so... As far as I'm concerned, I'm still doing really good. Can I build a battleship? Yeah, I can. Um... Yeah, I'll wait one more. Wait, do we have the airport yet? Now we do. Okay, well... Okay, I forget the battleship. I want to focus more on bomber. Stuff, bomber stuff, I think it's going to be more valuable in the end anyway. 
Okay, I think we're good. It's actually really cool that we are destroying his army with very little resources. Because, yeah, he's basically just, like, throwing all of his units forward, but it's not helping him because I'm destroying everything before he has a chance to utilize them. Like, I mean, look, I have over 40,000 funds. So, yeah, this is, like, going very well. I already defeated two of those units. If I wanted to, I can move this guy forward. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no. How much do you move again? Um. Shoot, I forgot what I mapped these buttons as. Um. Okay, there we go. Uh, six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> do I dare go ahead and do that? Sure, why not? Basically, that's what I had planned to kind of push forward a little bit right here. Not completely necessary, but still. It could help, I suppose. Um, do I want to go ahead and get a bomber, or do I want to focus on maybe a B-copter first? I'll leave it a fighter would be good, because that way we can block this, and then... Hmm. How much? Fighters move nine. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, let's uh, just get a bomber. If uh, something comes, we'll run out of the way. I'll move you guys forward, too. Because really, his most dangerous unit right now is, is a tank. It only has 9 HP, so I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves at the moment. Okay. Can I land over here? Yeah, I can. Okay, I can actually land my units soon. And I am perfectly okay with that, too. Let's see here. Day 14. He can totally build a B-copter right now. And he's not even doing that. He's just going with his normal units. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna focus on my strategy now. I know my uh, tank got hurt right here, which is kind of a shame. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's uh, get everything full. I have more units on the way here, so this is going to work out just fine. Also, I can go ahead and build that battleship now if I wanted. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Be nice to have some uh, indirect units from the sea here. But anyway, if I had to actually uh, call the easiest mission of Green Earth, it'd probably be this one, to be honest. This one's really not that bad. Because you can easily gain an advantage here. Also, that may seem bad, but really, it's not. You know why? <clears throat> because I have a power of my own that can do basically the same exact thing. And Hawk doesn't seem to realize this. Or maybe he does. Maybe he just got tired of me beating the crap out of him, so he tried something else. Who knows. Okay, well... There's my battleship. Is 
still have no fighters or anti-airs to deal with yet, so we're gonna play it pretty cool for right now. I'm not gonna land you yet, because it would be kind of stupid to do that. Now we gotta start thinking about what we wanna do here. Cause I do have lots and lots of anti-air units. And uh you know what, why not? Let's join just so we can get some extra funds out of it. I don't think I'm gonna need that many units for this next attack anyway. So Hell, I think I'm actually done with my landers too, so might as well grab some funds back if we need them. Or can use them, rather. Okay, there's that, uh... B-copter I was waiting for. That is alright with me, though. Okay, no anti-air units around. I'm going to go ahead and put you right here, but if that B-copter tries to attack, I'll just send the other one in, and then take care of him that way. Also, yeah, I'm just going to move you down here. He could go after the cruiser units, too. I don't know. Honestly, he could do anything. Let's go ahead and build a wall right here. Then we can move you down. Aha! There we go. We have a nice little wall we can use. And I can't go there. That's kind of a shame. That's okay, though. Once again, we'll deal with it. We need another bomber on the field. And I think that's it for right now. Wow, I'm surprised that went for the cruiser. That's a bit of a shock. Okay then, well... He essentially made things a lot easier for me. In fact, is this something I want to go ahead and use my power on? Or do I want to... Hmm. Let's go ahead and use it. Let's go ahead. Oh, actually, I'll wait for my... Super CO, if I can build that up. I feel like that might be more helpful in the long run anyway. Uh, gonna move you down for right now. And I'm just gonna block you. Yeah, we'll get rid of that guy. do this. Really? Is that all I can do? That's kind of lame. Well, because we are making some kind of stride here, we can land right here and then send one of our units over to collect that city. I love how I called it collecting cities. Yeah, we're just collecting them more casually putting them in our pockets for our collection stored at home. That's what we're doing. Also, I like how this will only be a one-mission video, too. It is a long one, but still one mission. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of you. Okay, we're still good on fuel for right now. Um, go for another bomber. And, yeah, well, that's fine. That works for me. Oh, wow, he actually parked that unit right in front of me, which was a stupid move. And he just freaking opened so many doors for me, it's not even funny. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use my power. It's 
not going to be as strong as it could be, but hey, he kind of opened that door for me, so I'm going to take advantage of it when I can. Also, you're going to go this way, and you're going to follow him, and you'll start working on that. Okay, I can't exactly use these guys yet, but they can be used next turn, which is when I'll need them too, so that is perfectly okay with me. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's weaken that. Boom. Okay. Get rid of all the mech units. Can you do anything? No, you can't, but you can act as a placeholder. Do this. Can you destroy this? Not quite. How am I not doing so much? Well, I guess they are Drake's air units, that's true. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that fact. They are Drake's air units. So they're not going to have as much POW as some of the others. Um, well, this is really the only unit that's going to be worth it to take out, so let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and prevent you from getting in the way. Move you guys forward. And I think we're good. Alrighty. Now I have a feeling he is going to use his CO power right here. Or he doesn't have it yet. Wow. I guess Hawks does take the longest to fill up. Still, I think he would have. I thought he would have had it by now. Shows how much I know about how long it takes to fill up a CO meter. Oh, can I actually finish this now? I think I can. Yeah, because he doesn't have very many units left. All I have to do is... Yep, yeah, okay. I, I finished this. Hey. <laughs> that's fine with me. That's fine. And... Actually, before we do, let's... uh. Technique spam. Just to make sure we have the technique score. Although, I don't think I lost any units. I lost a cruiser at the very beginning, but that's it. Yeah, I did not lose a single unit in this battle. Wow. I did myself some good here in this battle. Naval units repelling a superior air force? Quite a feat. It seems I underestimated my opponent. This war is far from over, though. The only battle I have to win is the final one. The enemy is retreating on all fronts. It looks like we won, somehow. So I'm here for no reason, eh? Eagle, you came to lend a hand? I heard the enemy was mainly air units. I left the front under command of the sub-commander, but it looks like I worried for nothing. I got lucky. It was more than luck. How so? Drake, you're a gifted tactician. You should give yourself more credit. You do realize you defeated an army comprising mainly air units, right? It's nothing you or Jess couldn't have had on. I'm not so... Perhaps it's your humility that people find so appealing. I guess so. Well, let's take a look at our score here. Perfect 300. I kind of expected that. And yeah, that's going to do it for... Uh, pretty much for Drake. I don't think I have any plans to use him ever again in this uh, game, honestly. So, well, thanks, Drake. Uh, you really helped out. You came out in a pinch when we needed you, so good job. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. This has been uh, Let's Play Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. This has been Slim Kirby. I will see you guys next time. Later, folks.